Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Happy holidays to you. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas. All that wonderful bliss to you and yours. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for showing up again, you know, and really, thanks for the amazing year. Thank you for all of your likes, all of your subscriptions, all of your many, many donations. Thank you for all of that. You guys went over the top good to me this year. Thank you. Don't know what to say more than that. Love you guys. Let's play some tarot today. Got a couple quick announcements. My next Sunday fun day will be December 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Aries, you know, I want you at the show. Ain't the same without you. And quickly, uh, talking about a show, I'm going to be doing another meet and greet. I'm going to be going to Burbank, California in the spring, March 21st and 22nd, a two-day event. And not just me, I'm inviting many, many YouTube readers to come to the party. So, my YouTubers, if you would like to go meet your fans, it's going to be very easy for you. Just contact me and basically you just have to show up. And bring your cards. Let's do some readings for them. And I will be doing readings at these as well. I've already had a whole bunch of readers reach out to me. Briefly, I'm going to shout them out. I got Jessica coming from the Moody Tarot. I got Danny G coming, Northern Comfort Tarot. I got Brooke. She signed up from... Empress of Duality, love you, sunshine. I got Mookie from Mookie's Tarot Zone. I love you, Mookie. I got Molly from Behind the Limb. Molly, couldn't be doing this without you. Thank you, sunshine. I got Rachel from Urban Empath. I have Angie from Empress of All. And many more to come. I also have Jessica from Whispers of Grace Healing. All amazing. I'm talking to readers every day. Um, this is the 10th right here. And I'm going to be uh, getting all this information together by January 1. So on how to get a ticket and uh, what we're going to do. I'm, I'm trying to get 20 or 30 YouTube tarot readers to come in so that you guys can come in and meet your favorite tarot readers, get a tarot reading from them, all that fun stuff. Have a drink, have some fun with some like-minded people. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, hey, uh, if you got a favorite tarot reader that you would like to see at the show, go ahead and send them a little comment or something. Hey, contact Ramblin'. Uh, I would like to see you at his show in March on the 21st, which is the first day of spring and all that, the new year for, you know, us that know how the calendar really works. Anyway, fun stuff. All right. Let's play some cards, huh? This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And, you know, there's no way it can be for every Aries on the planet, so... It resonates with you, run with it, and have fun with it, and all that. Those five of swords jumped out right there about doing what's best for you. All right, all right. Shuffling the cards here for Aries. Here we go. Gonna play some cards today. Mm hmm. Let's go with that right there. Hey, Terry Love Team, Aries is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I wanna thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need, help Aries see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aries' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Can't do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. 
Here we go, Here He's cutting the deck. Going to throw out the classic Celtic cross with the Tarot Illuminati. Going to throw out the entire spread with uh, clarification out of the Witch's Tarot. Couple of two or three handful out of the uh, Romance Angels. And then some some overalls with my 22 Major Arcana out of my Starman deck. Here we go, Aries. First card right there is the Knight of Swords. You know, that's the one that's going to come rushing in real fast. Got something to say to their Aries right there. Oh, it's probably about a whole boatload of apologies because this card takes a lot of bravery because they don't know the outcome. They come rushing in real fast. Oh, shit, Aries, hi. Uh, got something to say to you. They don't know how it's going to go so they can get out again real fast too. Let's see what crosses over top of our night of swords. Oh, wow. The sun card. Aries, I, I got the, I'm bringing the sun. This is Leo. May mean something to you, may not, huh? It is the amazing card, isn't it? It's the best card of the tarot deck. Merry Christmas to you, Aries. Although I don't know if you want to play with them. They, they're the little bucking bronco. The one, you know, been hanging on for the ride. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, looks like they want to come rushing into the sun right there. Hmm. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy right in the middle of this spread. Here we go, Aries. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah, damn it. Five of cups, the old river of tears. It's definitely an old cups, Biller. I know, I know. If you don't want to play with your cups, Biller, no need to waste your energy Tell me in the comments. Tell them, huh? Kick rocks. I don't want to play with... Mer Merry Christmas. Kick rocks. I don't want to play with you. Hmm. But I mean, they're coming in with the sun. They're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. Why? They know they spilled cups. They know they spilled cups. The old river of tears and then galloped off, leaving old Aries at the river of tears. I wouldn't blame you for telling them to kick rocks. I want you to do what's best for you. But Aries, the two cups are behind him right there. He's supposed to turn around and pick up the two cups. Bliss, whatever that is to you, Aries, and go over that bridge over troubled water, back to that high vibration castle right there. Recent pass, another five. The five of pinnacles. Now that's interesting. This is two fives, and fives are always about change. Change for the better, because these are cards of contrast. And, you know, it's crazy as it sounds, contrast is our friend. Because it shows us what we don't want so that we can distract from that. Not put our energy into it. And set our intentions about what we do want to manifest. Come on, we all know how to do this right here. Five of Pentacles. This says to me that because they left you at the River of Tears, uh, you, you ain't played with them for a while. At all, man. Five of Pentacles. You left them out in the cold. They feeling left out in the cold. See, I got my two soulmates right here. You see them. You know them. You watched me read for a while. My two soulmates right there. They play with each other incarnation after incarnation. And when one feels left out in the cold, the other one does too. Well, they feel it. They feel it. Yeah, they, that, that's why they urgent. Oh, I got something to say to my Aries. I figured out where the sun is. Oh my God, it's my Aries. But you know, it's up to you what you're going to do. But those two fives are always about change. Let's see what crowns the spread. <laughs> Aries. The old Ace of Cups showing up crowning the spread. No rambling Mikey's. Celtic Cross. For my Aries right there. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Probably the old cup spiller. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling it all around, man. Many of these spreads, huh? You know, it's the power of these eclipses, man. Kicking, kicking some divines right in the ass. And you know that old runner chaser game? Well, it's changing. 
Ace of Cups right there definitely talks about a direct connect with the divine. And that's what Five of Pentacles is about with me. That big old lit up building. Not supposed to be out here in the cold. It's supposed to go up that stairwell to that big old lit up building. Who's that? That's Source. Your grandpa, your grandma, your ancestors on the other side. Your angels, your higher self. And tuck up and make that connection real sweet in the 5D. When you do that, man, it puts grease. You know, it puts grease on the wheels right here between these two and the 3D. Ace of Cups is about healing yourself, healing your heart, healing your mind, self-love, loving yourself first. Ace of Cups is about love and all the possibilities crowning your spread right here, Aries. And Ace of Cups is about unspoken love, possibly being spoken. Here we go. I'm loving this. Yeah, there it is, the Princess of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Hi, Aries. Um, I found this little golden coin right here, you know, the old cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. I found it. Um, Aries, I found this wheat, you know, that grows around the Empress. That wheat, I found it. Maybe we can come out of these red flowers, this challenging times. Maybe we can walk past this Japanese cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune. Maybe we can have a new beginning with the sun. I brought the sun. Maybe we can go have a cup of coffee. It's a card of communication. It's a card of communication. Telephone calls, face-to-face -face meetings with our wild buck and bronco right there. You know, the one that maybe you left out in the cold because they left you at the old river of tears. And maybe you did turn around and pick up your bliss and go over that bridge over troubled water. Back to that high vibration castle, that big old little building right there. Here we go. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Oh, yeah, man. Ten of Wands. Fire energy. There it is right there. There's Aries carrying that heavy load, you know. Uh, so talking about a cycle change right here. Got an Ace. That's a new beginning. Got a Ten. That's an ending. Uh, you know, I mean, the old Ten of Wands is a very heavy burden. You know, and it's funny, huh? Because that's about him getting up to the top of the hill. When he gets up there, he's going to put down all that all that heavy burden and pick up that ace of wands, that passion and new beginning. Ain't it, ain't it funny when we throw the big bundle down on the ground? I'm done with this. Here they come galloping in. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh-huh. Here we go. What's crowning the spread? A queen of pinnacles is crowning the spread. A queen showing up. Wow. Oh, earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Wow. A queen. A princess to a queen. And she's sitting on top of the old sun. And the old wild buck and bronco right there. Yeah, you know, this is somebody that's, you know, this is the catch. This is somebody who could have possibly done some major work in their life. But nobody would know better than you, huh, Aries? I'll never tell you what to do. Ain't nobody know what's best for you better than you. Queen of Wands showing. Or Queen of Wands, ain't that interesting? Queen of Pentacles right here. Showing up. She eats right. Takes care of herself. Has a little golden pair of spirituality in her hand. Imagine that. You know, lives in a very magical world. There's a little devil in there, though. Or a little devil in there. You know, sitting on that big old golden coin. Yeah, they know how to manifest this. this I don't know, I mean, I like this with the sun on top of the little, the night. And like, hey, hey. Hey, I figured it out. I figured it out. I've grown up. I changed. Well, I'm ready to throw these damn bundles on the ground. I, 
Fuck that river of tears. Fuck this five of pentacles. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a, I got an ace of cups right here, Aries. I, 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 I worked on myself. Here we go. Uh huh, the old fears position right there. Seven of swords, because that definitely ain't a hope. Maybe it is on their aspect because that's air right there. Maybe they're hoping they can sneak back in here, make things right with their Aries. But Seven of Swords tells me that they know, I'm going to cuss, that they fucked up. That they were sneaky. They were a cheater. They were a liar. All that's with Seven of Swords. And it shows Aries right here being fearful that they're going to be the same way. Man, it's been a heavy freaking burden. A heavy freaking burden with this person. You know, this is somebody with three swords slung over one shoulder, the old broken heart, two swords on the other shoulder, the old land of indecision, looking over their shoulders at the two swords that they left in the camp. This is the old liar cheater card. That's why they're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. They know they didn't treat their Aries right. But uh, so they got a they got a boom da boom da boom boom happening in their chest right there, male or female. They want to tell Aries, I've changed. I see you. You are my sunshine. I don't want to be left out in the cold. I want a new beginning. And this is kind of them just kind of tippy toeing, tippy toeing, because they really want you. Oh, oh shit. They really want the star. Wow. They really want the star. They see you, Aries, as a star. That's a twin flame card. The sun card is a twin flame card to me. I read for lots of twins, by the way, if you don't know that. Shows a golden angelic being with the two cups. These two cups that are behind five of cups down here. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. These two have definitely been in separation for a period. Uh, that confirms five of pentacles. Why? For good reason, man. A damn cup spiller. And liar and a cheater. Sneaking, running around, leaving all the heavy burden on Aries right there. But you know, I can't ignore these two right here. You know, and... From the princess to the queen being pinnacles, it could have taken a hell of a long time with this story right here. That is slow moving energy. But she is showing up, or he is showing up as a queen. And the star right there is about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Sitting right by Ace of Cups. It's about healing. You don't get the star card unless you've been through hellfire. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. A major arcana, the lovers. Somebody was making a choice about lovers. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. Shows sacred masculine right there with his force all burning up. Sacred feminine leaning up against the old apple tree being all seductive, huh? Hey, daddy, you know it's over here. Oh, yeah. Got Raphael up above him right there going, come on, peeps. We got Eden in the middle. This is a story of the closing of the gap between these divines right here. Oh, yeah, bottom of the deck. Another major arcana, Cancer. May mean something to you, may not. Got Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Gemini on this spread for my Aries. Crowned with the Ace of Cups. There they are, the old wild ponies, huh? The dark pony and the light pony with the yin-yang in the middle. Well, with the rider way the yin-yang's in there. This one got a lion's face. But somebody's been tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, driving their chariot exactly where they want it to go. Oh, Aries. Definitely has pulled you out of your comfort zone. You can see the charioteer coming out of the city right there, splashing through all these emotions of life. But in the mundane, this talks about travel and forward movement. 
They may, they may live at a little bit of a distance from you. This can talk about movement. Somebody wants to splash some water on this fire that's going on in their forest over there. Somebody's finally seen the signals. Hey, Daddy, it is over here. This is somebody coming rushing in. Rushing in right here, man. Boom. Did it boom? Did it boom, boom, boom? Yeah. Finally figuring it out, man. Aries is my star. Yeah. I like it. Let's see. One more off of the bottom of the deck, huh? Three of Pentacles. This can talk about them wanting to come in and work on the foundation of something that's important to them with you, Aries. You know, it is the building of Ten of Pentacles in a love story. But I got Aries on the bottom of the deck right here, my Queen of Wands. And, uh, you know, she's absolutely good looking, ain't that right, Aries? And Aries are male or female, man. She's the life of the party. She's magic. She has that little black cat. She knows her worth. And if she's not showed the worthiness that she's worthy of, she will leave your ass right there in the cold, man. Done. Now, it looks like this person's figuring it out. That's why I see them kind of sneaking, kind of tippy-toeing back in, you know? Because they don't know how it's going to work out, man. This is, this, this is timid. This is timid right here. Because they, they, they left Aries holding all that fucking bullshit right there. But, you know, Aries put all that, that wand down right there and has that one wand of passion right there in their hands. You know, about a passionate new beginning from Aries right there. One more major arcana off the bottom of the deck before I start playing with the witch's tarot is the wheel. The wheel coming out here. Talks about karmic cycles coming to an end. Talks about the wheel spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, vegan dinner. Whatever's rocking your world, huh? I like it. Lots of major arcana that has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo on it. Majors all over the spread. Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Ace of Cups crowning the spread. Communication, the star. Wow. You know, such a time as this, you know, that's the wheel. Has to do with timing, divine timing. Karmic cycles ending. Why is the Knight of Swords and the Sun in the middle of the spread for my Aries? Thank you. Oh, because my Princess of Cups right here. There she is. You know, it's about communication. <laughs> Sweet communication. Because somebody's about to get to hit in the head with a tsunami of love. Some, there's a little fish in the cup. Somebody be, be listening to that little fish in the cup. They be like, talk to your Aries right Oh, somebody's having a crushy crush. Boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. For my Aries. <laughs> that is that ace of cups that she's holding in her hand. And that is the tsunami of love. About to just go kawoosh down on her. Love it. Five of Cups, please, at the base of the spread. Why is the old river of tears here? Thank God it's in the past. I love it in the past, and I love the star as the outcome. Yeah, Four of Swords, and uh, that talks definitely that Aries has done some healing on themselves. You know, they put down the heavy burden right there. They know that they are the Queen of Wands. They know that, you know, they, they, they know their worth. This is an Aries that's done the work, and of course it's going to reflect in your divine Four of Swords coming in right here. It's about healing. And also has the ability for this person, because there are all these swords right here. This person, they have the ability to cut those things out of their life that are no longer serving them for their highest good. Five of Pentacles, please, for Aries. Why is it, why is it on this spread? Thank you, love team. Four of Cups. Yeah, um... They're definitely timid about the whole situation because, uh, you know, Four of Cups. Well, they can talk about Aries, too, um, reevaluating the situation, looking at love, past, present, projected, future. 
You know, you can see him right there. Look at Hi, Aries. Um, uh, can we talk? <laughs> can also talk about them feeling that maybe they have lost their opportunity with their Aries. And, you know, rightly so with Ten of Wands and Seven of Swords. I mean, all these threads are like this anymore. These freaking knuckleheads are figuring it out. <laughs> but that's because, you know, Aries is the Queen of Wands. Huh? Ace of Cups, please. Why is it on this spread? Seven of Swords on top of that, man. You know, uh, they definitely didn't tell you how they how they really felt about you, no doubt about that. They 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 hid that even possibly even from themselves. That's bizarre when you, you know, you hide love from yourself. That's crazy. The only one you're, you know, really hurting would be you. Seven of Swords on that. I want more on that, please, before I move on. Why is Seven of Swords on top of the Ace of Cups? Oh, it's about unspoken love. Oh, it is about them uh, lying to themselves about how deeply that they love you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. They absolutely want to come in with this Ace of Pentacles for a new beginning. You know, this is the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. They were lying to themselves about how deeply that they loved you, Aries. That's crazy. I couldn't imagine living like that, but that's me. I'll tell you how I feel about you. Straight up, good or bad, but that's all rambling right there. Princess of Pentacles right here. Thank you, love team. <laughs> Your Knight of Wands. Your Knight of Wands, they're going to come in and tell you, you know, I'd really like to just go have a cup of coffee with you, but you know what they want, Aries? They want some Aries. They want some Boom Boom right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to ride the wild pony. Uh-huh. <laughs> They've been lying to themselves, man. Their heart's beating out of their chest anymore. Ten of Wands, please. Why is it on this spread? Yeah, Three of Cups. Ten of Wands here because, you know, I mean, it's not going to stick on the past too much, but there was third-party activity. Two Seven of Swords right here. They were lying to themselves. They were running around being a fucking knucklehead. If I can finally figure out who their fucking Ace of Pentacles is, it's Aries right here. Definitely desire a reunion with you. But if you don't want them, tell them Merry Christmas. Kick rocks. Queen of Pentacles certainly looks like they have changed to me. Yeah, man, and Temperance came. Not only have they changed, but when Temperance comes out on top of that, because these cross over everything in the middle right here. The uh, Wild Pony Ride, the sun shining. They're charging towards their sun, about to get hit in the head with a tsunami of love. They have changed, made themselves better. And they have realized that this is a divine union. And this is a card of reconciliation. You know, it's about being in alignment with yourself. This first one was out of alignment with himself. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. They see the rainbow. Great patience on your part, huh, Aries, with this person? Yeah, and there, there it is right there. There's the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands is on this spread, the Soulmates. Um, you know, and um, they may have some fire in their chart. It is Aries just kind of, you know, I mean, this is Minor Arcana Emperor. He's the King of Wands. He's Aries. It's kind of sitting on your throne, Aries, kind of looking at it. Making sure that they're not going to burn you again. Don't blame you. You know, don't take no word of no tarot reader just because a star card showed up here. But the star card showed up here. Right beside the Ace of Cups. Right beside the uh, Golden Pinnacle. But they did burn you, man. With two Seven of Swords on the spread. I see it. Ace. 
Why is the star card here for Aries? The moon. See? Has to do with the cycles of the moon, man. It's this 12-12 cycle. 12-12 portal, whatever they're calling it anymore, happening right here. They're fearful about uh, everything. They know that they were bad to you. Uh, the old 12-12 that starts on uh, December 12th. All right. 12-12 in the evening on the East Coast. And then we got a eclipse the day after Christmas on the 26th. And another eclipse on January 12th of the new year. There's a portal going on right here. Somebody got a, uh, a uh, fire burning in their heart. I always get that out of the moon card right there. But eyes wide open. I mean, the moon is here. Seven of Swords did show up on top of that. Ace of Cups, huh? But over here, you know, I got the Lovers and the Chariot and Three of Pentacles from my Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune spinning in an upward direction. This tells me that this person has changed. You know, they, they definitely miss you. They definitely want some passion with you. They have changed. Source has worked on this person right here with the Temperance card. But I want you to let the cycle of these moons play out. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, two of pentacles, the old dance of change. The dance of change is happening with this person. With the witch's tarot, I always see it like that. be like the kundalini energy firing off in this person. Hmm? It's the old classic runner chaser thing is happening right here with these divines. The coin's flipping, so... If you want to run, you can. they holding on to you with their heart chakra. They're feeling closed off from you. They don't want to be five of pentacles anymore. They don't want to be left out in the cold. Second time, five of pentacles just showed up right here. I just kind of, I just kind of see her kind of looking at Aries like, come on, Aries. Nobody knows what's best for you, huh? Definitely doing the dance of change. They definitely were a juggler. I see change happening. They want to come in. Six of Wands. They want some victory. They want your attention. All that. Your call, what you're going to do right here, huh, Aries? I like it. And, you know, Land of Indecision right there. Two of Swords. And the Moon. Let these Moon Cycles play out. I like it for you. I like the Star. I like the Ace of Cups. I like it all. You're gonna, you know, make them prove that the <laughs> the proof's in the love pudding. I do got my soulmates right here, my king and my queen of wands. There they are. The king and the queen of passion are on this board, sitting by the wheel, sitting by the star. Uh, you know, let this let this tsunami hit them right in the head. They're gonna figure it out soon and very soon, my friend. Soon and very soon. They are remorseful. They, they weren't good to you. I see that. Your call though, huh? I don't wanna, I don't wanna ever tell you what to do. I'm gonna tell you, they coming in here for you. It does say stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking, positive thinking, positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. If you've been working on this for a while, no need to stop now. Playfulness on the bottom of the deck. Taking it light and easy. Two people right here swinging on a swing. That's all they're doing. Somebody's heart's beating out of their chest anymore. Boom, 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 boom for Aries. And they want some boom, boom, boom. But, you know, this kind of just says, you know, maybe just... uh Play the game here a little bit, huh? It's nice. One more, please. That did say free yourself, and there's going to be some areas that do free themselves from this situation. Why don't you go and think about it for a minute? Two of swords right there. Go and think about it for a minute. <laughs> That's a trust card. Heart-to-heart <laughs> -heart conversations and love yourself first. You know, if they were with somebody, because I got uh, Release the X right here. If 
Oh, they were. Three, yes, yeah, seven of swords, three of cups, all that shit. Fuck, Aries, they may be single anymore. What do you know about that? What do you know about that? They may be single. Wow. <laughs> you may not believe them, though, with that two seven of swords, huh? Yeah, you may not believe them that they're single, but you're going to be definitely talking about it, making sure they are damn single. That's what I'm getting right here. Uh-huh. Because you definitely have learned this right here. To love yourself first. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's just go for a swing right over here. No, no, no. I don't know about boom, boom. I don't know about boom, boom. <laughs> but we're all grown up, huh? Do what you do right here. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Major on this. Oh, the emperor came out. Like that, man. It's beautiful. This is Aries seated in their power. The coin's flipped right here, man. All around, man. The coin is flipped all around. And then I got another Aries card. The Fool. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. And it's about fresh starts, new beginnings, a leap of faith. You can see down there all those traps. Well, the fool ain't stepping in those traps no more. Ain't gonna be stepping in no traps no more, Aries. Aries, I definitely went over. I love the story. Hope you got something out of it, my friends. Namaste, love and light. Talk to you soon, Aries. Bye for now.